Magandang araw! Ang pag-aaralan natin ngayon ay tungkol sa acceleration. Acceleration is a vector quantity that is defined as the rate at which an object changes its velocity. Velocity is also a vector quantity. It has magnitude and direction. Ibig sabihin, Kapag ang isang bagay na gumagalaw ay biglang nag-iba ang bilis sa pagkilos o biglang nag-iba ang direksyon, then ang velocity ay mag-iiba din. And when there is a change in velocity, then there is an acceleration. Halimbawa, ang coaching ito ay naglalakbay na may speed na 20 meters per second. Ang bilis na iyon ay hindi nagbago. It keeps it going with the same speed of 20 meters per second. Ang tanong, may acceleration ba? If there is no change in speed and no change in direction, then there is no acceleration. Next, same car travels with a speed of 10 meters per second, but few minutes after, tumigil ito gaining a speed of 0 meters per second. Is there an acceleration? Well, when there is a change in speed, but no change in direction, then there is an acceleration. Another example. This time, a car with a speed of 10 meters per second ay lumiko papuntang kaliwa Nang hindi nagbabago ang bilis nito sa pagtakbo. In this example, the car changes its direction but maintains its speed. Is there an acceleration? Well, when there is no change in speed but there is a change in direction, still there is an acceleration. And lastly, same car again. Traveling 10 meters per second, turns left and changes its speed to 5 meters per second. This time, the car changes its speed and direction. Is there an acceleration? When both the speed and the direction change, then definitely there is an acceleration. Acceleration can be positive or negative. Positive acceleration is when an object in motion speeds up or increases its velocity. Ibig sabihin, positive ang acceleration kung ang bagay na gumagalaw ay bumilis ang pagalaw. Halimbawa, ang kotseng ito ay tumatakbo sa bilis na 10 meters per second. Tapos, biglang bumilis ng 20 meters per second. Dahil doon, Nagkaroon siya ng positive acceleration kasi bumilis ang pagtakbo niya. While negative acceleration, also called deceleration, is when an object in motion slows down or decreases its velocity. Ito naman ay kabaliktara ng positive. Negative acceleration kung ang pagtakbo ng isang bagay ay bumagal. Halimbawa ulit, mula sa bilis na 20 meters per second, Ang kotse ay biglang pumagal na may velocity na 10 meters per second. At dahil doon, ang acceleration niya ay negative. Ngayon naman ay subukan nating alamin ang bawat senaryo kung may acceleration ba o wala. Jose is walking at a constant speed. As he reached the corner of the street, he turned right. Ito ay nagpapakita ng acceleration. Bakit? Kasi kahit na may constant speed siya, lumiko siya going left. Nag-iba ang kanyang direksyon. Kaya meron siyang acceleration. Number 2. A car with a constant speed of 80 km per hour is running in a straight line. This shows no sign of acceleration kasi constant ang kanyang speed and diretso lang ang direksyon ng pagtakbo. Number 3. 
number 3. A truck from a stop motion gained a speed of 40 km per hour. Mula sa pagkahinto, tapos tumakbo, ang truck ay nagpapakita ng acceleration. Pang-apat, a racing car that is about to reach the finish line increases its speed at its maximum. This is an example that shows acceleration. Bakit? Because it increases its speed at its maximum. And finally, a motorcycle with a constant speed of 50 km per hour suddenly stopped when the traffic light turned red. Mula sa velocity o bilis na 50 km per hour at biglang huminto, ito ay halimbawa na nagpapakita ng acceleration. Maraming salamat ulit sa inyong panunood. Sana ay may natutunan kayo sa video lesson na ito. Hanggang sa susunod. Bye!